Hey guys, it's me, Cali Rofan, and um, this is actually an update to an older video I haven't posted, but I'll have some clips from the old video in here just to show you what happened, uh, because that I can't recreate those wonderful moments that happened in that older video. So, first of all, I'm going to show you a few things that I've got in my wonderful modded world. So, let's see you here. Oh, hey, it's, it's my house. Got Jeff the smoke detector. Bob the smoke detector. Maybe that's Jeff and the other one's Bob. I don't know. I don't care. Really. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Jeff and Bob, about your names. I forget. keep forgetting. Oh, gosh. This is slow. Anyways, it's only slow because I'm recording. But let's go into my room and see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. We've got um, a backpack. Let's put, put that thing on. Okay. Alright. Put this bag right here. Apparently these are things that we need for our review of some stuff I've created. So let's go to the backyard. Backyard, all that fire pit, the hammock, power supply back behind the hammock. There you are. Anyways, so we've got all that f fun stuff. Let's go into town. Doop -de doo doo. I can fly. I'm a creative. Um, turn the volume a bit higher. So first, I'd like to show you my f second favorite building. This isn't my favorite building. It used to be, but now it's not because because I built my favorite building. After I built my second favorite building. So let's go inside my second favorite building. The apartment building. Now none of this... This whole town isn't furnished yet. I'm completely not done with it. I, I am. But... I'd like to show you some of the safety features. First of all... We've got... Fire escape up there. Second of all... We've got fire extinguishers and smoke detectors in every hall. Third of all... You've got exit signs that light when the power is out or when a light switch is turned off. These are all battery operated, so I don't need any. I don't need any uh, external power source uh, when the power goes out. So they'll stay on. Even this one. We have fire alarm poles, more light switches, stairwell lights, stairwell smoke detectors. In fact, let's turn the volume. Wait down a bit. Let's see what happens when I pull this alarm and reset it. Because, oops, we've got this thing upstairs. The CR1001C by Advisor Safety Systems, a seven zone conventional fire alarm control panel. Now, this is the first fire alarm panel that I've actually built in Minecraft, and of course I used mods to build it. But mainly, the red, the Project Red, which is a remake of Red Power, and uh, the Wireless Redstone mod. Um, but I also used some uh, uh, alarm mod that I found on the internet that don't download it because it gives you a bunch of ads. Luckily I figured out how to get rid of those ads, but don't, don't ever get that mod, ever. So, they can pull, push the drill button. Put the reset button. And each of these are IDC lamps, initiating device circuit lamps. Which means, if I were to pull a fire alarm and leave it down without resetting it, it only in Minecraft, one of these lamps would light up depending on which switch I pulled. For instance, let's pull this fourth floor switch, which is the IDC number four. And it lights the corresponding lamp. However, a problem that I have with this Minecraft one that doesn't, that's, uh, that's um, not in real life, but a problem I have with this Minecraft one is I forgot to put set reset latches on this panel, and uh, I normally forget to put set reset latches so, this, uh, the lights don't stay on even, even before I reset it. Anyways, let's go down this fire exit here. Boop. Let's get the 
Let's go back into the building. Let's go downstairs and go into my favorite building. Well, my favorite building is always the most recently built building. Of course, because I'm like, oh, this building's cool, and then I find another building that I built, and I'm like, oh, this building's even cooler. This building actually looks much cooler than this other one, but it's a different style, so. If I go inside this building, um, if I go inside this building, we've got the advisor system. But what is special about this advisor system is that we can go into this classroom, which is empty, because my town is empty, and find... That was a bad way of hiding something. Uh, but -da -da, the advisor, CR1002C, which is the second first generation conventional fire alarm control panel. This has status lights, and it runs, it has a bell instead of a, instead of a horn. And I have a cage red emergency strobe lamp, and this thing took me forever. This thing was just a remake of the first one, but it took me forever, and it's a lot more organized back here, but it has a lot more cables. Like, all of these are lined up, and all of these are lined up. All these cables are all over the place, but they're lined up. But the whole thing, both of these systems that I have are wireless. So if we hit the fire drill button, it'll sound the th code 3 bell. One second. Alright, so... Um... When, when we reset the system, we, when we reset the system here, it sounds an all clear bell, but we don't have to reset the system here, we've got our fire extinguisher. First of all, if we look at our wireless map and pull the fire drill button, it'll show both the, the, um, the on the where my where the red dots are is where signals are being um, uh, sent. So we can do that again. We can also use the reset button to wirelessly reset the system. Also, the different one of the differences between this panel is when I hit the reset button and light all the lamps. Except for the alarm and trouble lamps. But when I reset it, it flashes so quickly. <laughs> However, you can still reset it without the alarm being uh, active, which allows you to say you need a school bell. Like, I'm upstairs and I can. I'm like, oh, upstairs and I'm teaching a class and I'm like, class is over. Um, Class dismissed, and I hit the button, and it would sound the bell, like this. Now, there are uh, another thing that is cap this system is capable of, is it is capable of, uh, oh yeah, I have one, of uh, s smoke detectors, which means... I can set off the fire alarm by using a fire charge, or just if, let's say, the building catches fire, somehow the fire alarm will go off. All these post stations work just fine, all these strobe lights work just fine, just like the other building. Now, here's something you probably didn't know, and I'm going to skip to the, uh, the other video here. It would, it would be this kind of weather, and then suddenly, bam! Lightning bolt strikes a nearby tree, and it sets off the school fire alarm. So, like, I'll be, I was over here a few minutes ago, talking to my friend on the phone, just like, okay, yeah, this is a nice building, yeah, blah, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, right behind me, the uh, uh, fire alarm goes off, and I'm like, what's that? And so I go to check the IDC, which I have no idea what the IDC numbers are because I forgot to label them. 
<laughs> and um, it was just like it, was, it showed it showed nothing. And then I walked out, and then bam, a lightning bolt. And, and I reset the system, and I walk out, and bam, the lightning bolt. It hits hits a tree, and then all of a sudden, fire alarm goes off, and I was like, oh. It's it's just a glitch caused by it's not even a glitch it's what it's supposed to do, um, caused by the uh, smoke detectors being able to actually have a range of things, a range that it detects and so even if it's outside the building, and it's fire, like I'll get some fire charge, or something. Let's get a fire extinguisher just in case something catches fire. I need lightning. Lightning! Lightning! Ah, I need some lightning. Come over here, lightning. Please. I don't care if you blow up my building. Okay, me. Maybe I do. Can't see them with the map. Uh, yeah, I would be. And then I was. Yeah. Oh, another secret. It's always in the left room. It's always in the left room. The room to the left. So, there's a basement in that room to the left of me right there, and then the room to the left of and there it goes! Where is the lightning this time? Was that me? Did I do that? And it's cutting out because of the rain sounds. I can't fly. Why can't I fly? Eh, let's reset the system anyways. Wow, so uh, apparently lightning also sets off the fire alarm. That's good. That's a good thing because because if it didn't, that would be a bad thing. See, look there it is. You just saw it. Whoa. 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 I just saw that with my eyes. What else am I going to see that with? Um there was lightning right right there. Then the school fire alarm goes off. What? That is just crazy. Anyways. Uh, let's reset that system. Alright, that was pretty cool, honestly. I didn't know that lightning could set off the um, fire alarm from a long range. Now, I figured out that it's not the fire that sets off the lightning, of course. It's the actual lightning being detected by the fire detector. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, so, see you later! Oh, voice crack, wow. Thank you.